two receivers to the left side. McCoy looking gets hit. And at the 40, I believe that's a forward pass, but wait and see. It looks like they're going to roll this a fumble. fumble. Timing, so important when you're on offense, and you see right here, just a fraction of a second, too long with a football, Jevin Sneed, and a big-time lick from the backside with Ian Campbell. Right here off the edge, and we talked about it, his ability to rush the passer, 10 and a half sacks, coming in to this football game. Guess what, Gary? Add one more. He is their leader in sacks and their leader in tackles for a loss. And there he is, number 98, a sophomore, 6'5", 232-pounder. And he is the man who gets into the opposing backfield. Yeah, I sat down with him yesterday, and he said, yeah, I said, you know, you know what's your nickname on the team? He said, all the fellas call me the Italian Stallion. Because there's one problem. I'm not Italian. <laughs> Lima Swede, the man who finally gets a reception, working out of the shotgun. they looking. Can't find anybody, and it's going to be a big sack. All the way back to the 40-yard line. Kansas State's Ian Campbell moving in on the hit as he had nowhere to go. And that's a secondary sack right there. over the middle is intercepted by a defensive lineman for K-State at the 30 at the 20 this is Manu and Moses Manu will take it in for the touchdown check it Ian Campbell 98 rather than 96 Campbell rambles 40 yards for the touchdown but you're the one who mentioned it Ron Brian Garvin great hustle Obaniah probably gets over there and makes a tackle it's still great field position but the you've got to finish every play hats off to Brian Garvin for finishing that play